What happens when you crossbreed a regular 3-axis electronic stabilizer with a mechanical regular selfie stick tripod? You get a selfie tripod gimbal. This is the Moza Nano SE. It's an extendable selfie stick, a tripod, and a gimbal. Very good for a selfie vlogger like me. But wait! The Moza Nano SE is not a full gimbal and cannot do what a regular gimbal can do. Let me explain. In the box, there is the Nano SE and a USB-C to USB charging cable. And there's no AC power adapter, just like the iPhone 12. There is also a tiny user manual that leads us to a full user manual online. The telescopic rod can extend up to 690 millimeters or about 27 inches. The handle transforms into a mini tripod so that we don't have to carry another one around. The control panel is detachable, which becomes a remote control for the phone and the gimbal from a distance of about 10 meters or 33 feet. There is a built-in gimbal to keep your shot steady and level with the ground. It's available in two colors, black and green. It's foldable to a compact size of about 173 millimeters. It's very lightweight, about 250 grams or about half a pound. If it is so light, can it carry those large screen heavy phones? The Nano SE can carry phones up to 280 grams. That means it can handle the iPhone 12 Pro Max, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, or the Poco X3. What about small phones? Yes, it works with my tiny old iPhone 6. The next question is, how long can the battery last? There is a 950mAh rechargeable battery inside. On paper, the battery life is 10 hours and the charging time is 2.5 hours. The battery inside is not removable and is charged via the USB-C port. When I showed this gimbal to my class, the younger students asked, can it shoot vertical? Just press the top button once to switch to vertical mode. Press again to switch back to horizontal. It stays vertical even when I hold the handle 90 degrees. Because of the gimbal, the phone is always level with the ground. What if I want the phone to follow the handle rotation? By default, the Nano SE is in the lock mode, which means the phone remains level and does not follow the handle rotation. Press the top button twice to change it to follow mode, which means the phone now follows the handle rotation. When you make a drastic movement, the phone responds slowly, hence keeping your shots smooth. Tap twice on the top button again to go back to lock mode. It looks like the Moza Nano SE has only got one axis instead of three. So can it really stabilize my videos? So I just did a walking test and a running test. Just as I expected, the walking shots are okay, but it's not doing well with the running shots. So if you do a lot of running shots, please go get a 3-axis gimbal. 3-axis means the phone movement is compensated by the roll axis, the tilt axis, and the pan axis. The Nano SE only has one roll axis. Other than just stabilizing the camera, what else can it do? The Nano SE works with the native camera when connected via Bluetooth. Native camera means the phone's original camera app, which is usually better than most third-party apps. 
when the Nano SE and the phone is connected via Bluetooth, I can use the remote control to start recording and stop recording. I can also switch between vertical mode and horizontal mode, as well as from lock mode to follow mode. Is that it? Want to see some more? With the Moza Genie app, we can do a lot more. Let me show you. We can switch between the front camera and the rear camera. And back again. We can zoom in and zoom out. We can also use hand gestures to start recording and stop recording. We can control the focus and exposure separately as well as other adjustments just like a pro camera. And then there is the magic mode, the double exposure mode, light painting photography, slow motion, time lapse, and more, which I'll show you in a while. Now, let's talk about what it can't do. Without the full gimbal head, it can't do object tracking or face tracking and motion time lapse. It's not waterproof, so don't use it underwater or in the rain. It can bend downwards on one side, but I wish it can bend downwards on the other side as well. I also wish I can rotate the head. Why? Because when I tilt the head downwards to do a product shot, it won't stand on its own. This is definitely not for a product reviewer like me. So who is this for? The Moza Nano SE is definitely designed for selfie vloggers that film themselves most of the time. So if you are a selfie vlogger and like what you have seen so far, click the link below to get your own set. If you have already gotten your own set, check out my next video. Feel free to leave a comment or question. Click the thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you haven't done so, subscribe! This is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. See you in the next one.